and welcome back to On Stage at ACT's new program, The Corona Diaries, where we catch up with the staff and directors of ACT and what they've been doing during and after the corona pandemic. So today we are once again sitting down with Dennis O'Donovan, but this time with his director's hat on. So Dennis, welcome back to my little show. Thank you, Stuart. <laughs> Um, so you are actually directing two shows this season, right. but I want to focus this uh, first interview on your first show, uh, Faith Healer. What can you tell us about the show? It's a show told in stories. There are three characters. Each character does a scene-long speech or monologue telling their portion of a story. And you are hearing a story that has a beginning, middle, and end, but you're hearing it from three entirely different perspectives. Uh, the healer's name is Frank Hardy, and with him are his manager, Teddy, and his wife, or is she his wife, Grace. So we start with Frank telling his story and talking about his, his history and his experiences, and then Grace takes the stage, and Grace tells her side of what it was like to be on the road with Frank and how he treated her and how she got along with Teddy. Uh, then we have Teddy, the manager. Uh, he shares a, shares a pint of beer with us or a pint of ale as he tells us his story. And he's focused a lot more on the business of running Frank's show. And then he starts to tell us his version of some of the things that happened. And he reveals that something quite serious does happen. And then Frank comes back and kind of walks us through how that key incident went down. It's, uh, it's a very interesting experience because the, the actors never share the stage together ever in the course of the play, except for their bows, of course. Um, and there's a very different tone to each of the scenes. It's one of those shows where you're, you're going to find yourself paying attention. You'll be able to hear a pin drop because you're very quickly caught up in what it is that they're talking about. Well, there's there's a, a phrase that I've heard uh, a couple times that um, I that the way you're describing it sounds like it holds is that there's three versions to any story. There's yours, mine, yeah. and the truth. Yes. And so what you're getting is a perspective, a perspective, a perspective, and then how it all fits together for this puzzle piece. Is it? more difficult to do a show with three, four separate monologues when the people don't share the stage? First, there's nothing at all easy about directing Faith Healer. Okay. Um, and second, the fact that the actors never are on stage together has very little impact on what directing it is like. The, probably the biggest un unusual challenge is that each character is speaking un uninterrupted for 20 minutes or more. So making that interesting and not so one note is very important. Do you find that, because um, you did Beauty Queen of Lanann uh, a couple of seasons ago mm -hmm. with um, accents, mm -hmm. do you find that um, accents are um, a bit off-putting for an audience or do they just get used to it after a while? I, I think it lies in the execution. Okay. If the accent is extremely consistent, that's important. So that's a matter of training and practice. The bottom line is if you know what you're saying and you're saying it clearly, the audience should follow. They'll just follow right along. Yeah. Um, so, Faith Healer will be here in November, what is it, November 5th, 5th through 14th. Uh, you can find all the information on ACT's website, actstudiotheater.com, and we hope to see you in the audience and at our next session of the Corona Diaries. Dennis, we will catch you again for the next show.